And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poros give it all for our rank up Sunday. Uh, we did good there with Tarek Draven. We're going to go play our five games with Poros give it all as well and see how we do with this Poro deck. Uh, we uh, we did well with this deck in the uh, in the gauntlet that we did a little bit ago, the best of three gauntlet that y'all saw uh, earlier. And um, now we're taking it on over to ranked. Of course, we're going to be trying to play all these Poros, buff them up with Poro Snacks and Aurora Porealis, and use Give It All to to grant all of our allies all of the keywords of our different cute little Poros. So let's go ahead and play our five games in Ranked. And let's try to improve upon our 162 LP. All right, back to another Go Hard deck. Decks are quite popular right now. Let's see how the Poros do against Go Hard. We really want. Okay, Aurora, ah, Aurora Porealis is good. Say so we really want buffs for the Poros. So I think. Let's see. We have a couple of options of like playing things or not playing things. I guess we could just not play things. If I if I wait until turn three and just play Aurora Porealis on turn three, that would give me four extra cards. Uh, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that would give us ten cards. So I can't just play Aurora Porealis on three. All hands on deck. Um. Lonely Poro. Yep, this is the 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 Poro deck we went 5-0 with last time that we played it. And we went like 4 and 1 with it in the gauntlet. I think we lost one game. How do the Gohard decks just always have start so many Gohards? What have Poros done to you? We lost twice with Tarek Draven, and once with this, and zero times with Nightfall. I think we may have only played one game with Nightfall. Gives them a blocker. I want to play this Aurora Porealis and more Poro Snacks. Hey Breeze, good morning. Glad you got some good work done, sounds like. Oh, <laughs> sorry. That was Big Alfredo saying that. They they were uh just Breeze and Big Alfredo, you had the same color of username. I missed that. Sorry, Big Alfredo. It's already their third go hard. Keep up, keep up! I should Mystic Shot the Spray Fin to use that two mana. Yeah, I should have Mystic Shot the Spray Fin. Why are you here? So do you know they have another Go Hard in hand, which is going to be the Pack Your Bags.
I guess maybe I should have done just two of those and kept my thing alive. Yeah, I guess I should have just kept my thing alive there. You're welcome, Poetry. No problem. Probably letting them off the hook here. Deal me in. I'm just gonna be playing another Aurora Porealis. Getting some more Poro snacks. Quick attack Poro, no. Oh, this Poro is pretty tough. I didn't I didn't do any damage to them. I didn't have I don't have any plunder. You know, I attacked with one thing and they blocked. Ooh, I love that. Got that vengeance out of here. There's nothing to fear. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's probably something to fear. Like all these poros. It's so basically how much do I want to, to try to play around Ruination? They have one card in hand. And that's it, just one card. So like, how likely is it that, you know, now two cards, that, that it's Ruination? I don't know, we'll have to see. Let's we'll give them all, like, they're all like the same size anyway. Okay, there's a Vengeance. Scout. Taking it all does not sound like somebody that has ruination. I think they're just saying that they're getting obliterated. If if you have ruination, you're blocking. I mean, you surely probably just be blocking anyway. But there we go. Give it all, Poros, with the win. Sejuani. So they're rampant, but no trundle. Playing Sejuani over Trundle. Just get more Overwhelm. I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. So let's see. We're going to keep these cards. This looks good. Troll Jam. I guess they're both pretty tough. So even if they use an avalanche, they just take out you know two one drops for an avalanche, and I and I still have a plucky poro left. So it's it, it looks like it's a three for one, but it honestly doesn't actually trade three for one, which is kind of crazy. Like you know, we'd still be left with the same number of cards, six in hand each. Um. And, of course, they, they do have it, but I was saying so, even if they did. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess I could have gone snack and then saved the tough one. Does it just always make tough? Is there a rule about that? It has to it has to make a tough for him. Destruction feeds my fire. What? So. Vi stands for vicious. If you have a, a four they round buff that turn, the give it all will make it permanent. So yes, like the troll champ plus zero plus two. Yes, it will make that permanent. Snuffed out. So they could have deny. But they're not a ruination deck. We do give it all next turn. Because I'm only we're only looking at three things here. What have I told? I wanna have more than three things, and I want to have elusive. Headed in. Eat this. They also just not offer any of these trades. Nah, I'm, I'm trading. Because they do counter the give it all. It's just, it's worth getting four damage in here. Maybe six damage in and trading. Because next turn is like their feel the rush turn. So if they're going to have like, they're going to have like feel the rush next turn, then we could have give it all. Okay, I cannot cast Troll Chant and play Give It All next turn. So we're just going to let this happen. Bastards. What have I told you? Stay out of there. They also cannot cast Feel the Rush now with playing that. Now they have 11 mana. But still, I could see, like, Set 1. Uh, set 20 would be bad. Make that zero power. That would actually, that would actually be bad. Pain is nothing. Cool. Please don't deny, please don't deny, please don't deny. Let it happen. Let it happen. No. We have been denied. Face me. That's too bad. Bristle, attack! On the snow. What have I told you? Stay out of there. So I have six power in elusives right now. What have I told you? Stay out of there. And they're at seven. So close. Punch it. Trouble coming at ya. Yeah, hopefully top deck mystic shot. Feel the like Okay, so they're probably not planning on Feel the Rush, right? If they're just putting another thing out there. Actually, it's probably better for me to kill the Ancient Yeti, because I'd rather them have Sejuani in play than play a new Sejuani with the Frostbite Challenge stuff. They just had Feel the Rush? Oh, no, they just... No, they just drew it, didn't they? They just top decked it. Man... Because I would have rather just not play that and then not let them get the two champions. It's 25 overwhelm power, which kills us. And if, if I just don't, if I just don't play that thermogenic beam, I guess I just shouldn't have. So yeah, it's not because I killed the set. Basically, it's because they had they had five things on the board, so feel the rush could only get one. And so, whenever they cast that five five, I thought, okay, well they're casting this five five, then they don't have. 
Um, since they're casting, yeah, since they're casting the five five, they don't have. Um, they don't have a field of rush because they would just never put five five bodies in the, on the board when field of rush requires two spaces. But they top deck field of rush. That really punished me. Man. So this will slow him down. I haven't played against this deck that hasn't had like the champions right away in a while. Okay, cool. No champion. I like that. So not gonna play anything this turn, just gonna save my spell mana. So the next turn we can have Braum and take heart. Take heart the Braum. Braum is on the top. Yay, no Tom Kench. But I want to buff those up to be bigger for my give it all. Okay, so if, if we want to play Give It All next turn, we have to save two mana, so I can play, I can spend three mana worth of cards. Ah, uh, bot with their regeneration. We'd already have regeneration. I am here to help. So that means we can play a Lonely Poro. Ooh, Fearsome's good. I mean, I guess. I don't know. They'll have Elusive anyway. We'll play the other Lonely Poro and see what else we get. What do we want? We want Scout. Is there one with Scout? Be okay, that's a problem. Live with purpose. That shakedown's Take awesome. Heart. That's a problem. Oh. We're not gonna have elusive anymore. Haha! <laughs> Still elusive. Still elusive. So we can't we can't kill them this turn, but we should be able to kill them next turn. So hopefully the next two turns they don't heal 12 damage with the Star Spring. I'm not gonna be challenging anything. <laughs> the Star Child. Yeah, good thing vulnerable is not a keyword. Good to see you too. I also don't need to make this attack. I could pass. The reason why I would pass is because I think we could just do 20 damage next turn anyway with Aurora Borealis. And it would be one less thing for the Broadback Protector. You know, because I don't want them to heal 12. I'll just attack. Yeah, they, they could have Hush. That's true. So, like... Basically, the thing about Hush is, like, maybe then maybe won't be able to do 20 all in one turn through, like, if they have, like, two Hushes next turn. So, I guess we should attack. Yeah. I, I mean, I love that. They should they should definitely do that with something else, not the Braum. Because the Braum does zero damage to them. Like, that's great. They should definitely do it with, like, one of these things that does, does damage to the Fortune Croaker so that it will heal... And then go on with the Star Spring. I do not care that. Pablo's been down, but his knee out. Ah, I know the yeah, that was the the only target that they should not like. Really, they should be hushing the Mighty Poro. To give that back to the three power. Block it with like Soraka. Stars fall. All right, so they have to heal. They have to heal their units ten this turn, which is which is possible. I hope they don't have a, a good healing hand. Live with purpose. Yeah, it's definitely possible. So that gets it to 18. Uh, looks like they're going to win this. All they need is, like, one good heal card. 
you know, like an astral protection and they win. That was a really good box to post that, you know, with the chal you know, having the challenger and self damage and all that kind of stuff. That was a really good box to post. If they would have messed up the hush, they would definitely have had this. Now they just need astral protection. Well, let's see. Okay, yeah, they need to do that now plus astral protection. Please no, please no astral protection. Just, just pass turn, pass turn, pass turn. No, that's too bad. They had, they had exactly what they needed, the Challenger, and then Astral Protection, and they also need another thing to self-damage, they, so they had it all. Okay. This is... Should be a good matchup, let's... Okay, I love the Aurora Borealis. Eh, I kind of like all these cards. Yeah, we will just keep all these. Troll Chant should be good against the removal spell. Overwhelm? Yeah. We don't need to play the Lonely Poro first and have it die to go hard. There we go. I was gonna say, let's get some snacks first. Spell Shield's nice. I guess we could do Spell Shield, but then they'll just use a go hard and kill the Spell Shield. So, eh. I want Scout. Attack multiple times, that'd be cool. Go get him, Brom. We have Overwhelm. Guess I'll go Challenger. We're set up good against Ruination. The elusive regeneration for speaks through me. No, bad karma. Bad karma. Get out of here. Trying to kill my elusive regeneration poro? Come on. You're not alone. Can't cast Ruination this turn. Challenge here. Then elusive. Wait. And then challenge here. This is fun, yes? Please, I have connections. Let them heal for four. Which is of course only one, because they're at 19. These poros are big. Aurora Porreal is a sweet.
Sure. You want to go to your turn? Yes. One candle for every sun. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can't really play the Aurora Porealis right now. Too many cards in hand. And all these other things just replace themselves. Oh, I should have seen what we got here. Lifesteal? Lifesteal kind of cool. What are you, tough? Okay, let's challenge. Uh, yeah, let's challenge here. sign. So I could I could take heart and save this patched poro bot. Oh, we got a scout. But then again, we have just like all these other things in hand. Maybe we don't. I can take heart the Braum. Okay. I want the scout. yet don't really need to play anything else into a ruination I think I think our board's pretty good So this would cost eight, which means I'd have one, two, three, four, five. I'd have five other mana. I guess we just really don't need to play give it all. All these things are going to be very big anyway. played Ronation this turn. <laughs> they played Ronation this turn. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Man, Aurora Porealis is awesome. Yeah, I could see that. With that matchup, I was playing the Porealis when I didn't... I, I had to make sure that we had... You know, that it didn't fill up our hand. But I was playing the Porealis whenever we didn't want... Um, Uh, whenever we didn't really want to commit more to the board. I don't even know if I should be keeping these patch portal bots. 
Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Let's get to so I want to play Poro Snacks before we play any one health Poro against the Gohard deck. Let's get the elusive out here. Blocking snacks. I'm a little worried about my life total, though. I attack with this before they could play a spray fin. I can block. Like a fish in water. <laughs> uh yuck. have so many of those. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Congratulations. This is why I like the ban thing. I'm just going to be banned and go, to go hard deck every time. That's that's what's been happening today. That's the, That's the third time today that turn four or turn five my opponents had pack your bags it's like the third time out of three times playing against go hard the third in a row where they had two go hards in the opener let's get to it I know what lurks in the shadows. Four. Yuck. I guess their plan's ruination. I'll just keep passing. Pretty sure they have ruination. Yeah, so I know I can go for lethal with, with the Poro Cannon. I don't know if I need to do that yet. I feel like I can do that later. I don't think that's my I mean I, I think I'm just pretty sure they have ruination, so I just don't I just don't want to do that into ruination. That will just wreck me.
Let's brief in. I cannot ruinate. Can I have ruination? I want to keep this troll chant. I think that the troll chant will help all these fear, you know, like we'll give this like minus, be able to attack with a bunch of fearsome things. Challenge the elusive. Have everything else be unblockable. Why didn't I give them elusive? Because I didn't want to play my elusive first and then play give it all. And then the next turn they go ruination. I just didn't want to play my elusive first. I wanted to keep my elusives in hand for after a give it all. Well, I'm not taking two against a deck. I, mean, I don't think they're playing Black Spear. Why, why would you play Black Spirit in a Gohard deck? But against like the deck with Doom Beast, we're not taking damage against the Doom Beast. The next one's not pack your bags, is it? Unfortunately, that Chronicler of Ruin gives them a blocker, but there we go. They don't have anything else. GG's. Green two. We'll take it. <clears throat> Alright, so that's, that's Poro's give it all. Able to uh, finish up with a 3-2. I think we were pretty unlucky with our losses. This deck is really, really powerful and one that uh, I'm you know, very confident in raking up. You know, this and Tarek Draven are probably the two decks that I'm the most confident in with ranking up right now. They're both pretty good. And plus, this deck's really fun to play. It's fun to play Poros, Tier 1 Poros, especially because not too many people have caught on yet how good Poros are. But they're very good here with the give it all and everything. All right, so that's that's Poro's give it all. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know how it's going. If you've been playing Tarek Draven or Poro's give it all or anything else, you know, let me know uh, how, how it's going and uh, what you're working on and getting ready for the seasonal tournament, which is in about two weeks now. So that's pretty exciting. All right, but anyway... That's it here. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really can't say that enough. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.